Hello, my name is Mike, the Education Coordinator here at WGVU. And last week for our few moments in science, we looked at Newton's first law and third law of motion. Today we're going to do a demonstration that works with all three laws of motion. So here we go. All right, so Newton's three laws of motion. Newton's first law states that an object at rest remains at rest or an object in motion remains in motion unless an outside force acts on it. So what I've got is just a string between the two poles with a straw on the string and some tape. What I'm going to do is blow up the balloon, place it on this string, and there will be an outside force that will act on this balloon. So all I do is attach it. And when I release it, right now the balloon is at rest and will remain at rest unless an outside force acts on it. That outside force is going to be the air in the balloon. So when I release it, that force acts on the balloon, causes it to go in motion. It would continue in motion if there was not the force of friction stopping it as it goes forward. So here we go, Newton's first law of motion. Newton's second law of motion states that the acceleration of an object is produced when a force acts on the mass of the object. The greater the mass of the object, the greater the force needed to accelerate the object. So for Newton's second law of motion, we're going to kind of use the same thing here. I'm going to blow up a balloon and you'll notice that when I blow the balloon up, it's going to be a good sized balloon. Watch the, f the acceleration of that balloon, all right? Bigger mass more force needed to accelerate that object. All right, here we go. More mass to the balloon. Watch the acceleration. Now, what I'm gonna do is make the mass of that object smaller and watch the difference of how fast that object accelerates. Here we go. So, much smaller balloon and when it accelerates, watch how fast it will accelerate because it has less mass. All right, that's Newton's second law of motion. So now Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there is an opposite and equal reaction. So I'm gonna blow the balloon up and attach it to the straw. And what's gonna happen now is the force inside the balloon, the air that I just blew in the balloon is gonna be the force. So as the, that air and that force comes out of the balloon the back way, it's going to push the balloon forward. For every action, there's an opposite and equal reaction. Force comes this way, balloon goes that way. Similar to like when a rocket takes off. When a rocket takes off, the fuel, the thrust of that fuel coming out the bottom of the rocket allows the rocket to go straight up. Or like when an airplane takes off, the thrust of that plane coming out the back allows the plane to go forward. So same kind of a thing, picture this like an airplane. The engines are right here, forcing the air out this way, which will allow the balloon to go the opposite way. For every action, opposite and equal reaction. Here we go. And those are Newton's three laws of motion for a few moments in science. Thank you for watching.